Father God, we just thank you right now. But people of God, if you're watching this, we want to pray. If you're marriage, if you're in a holy covenant uh, with God and holy matrimony with your significant other, we want to pray because the enemy has attacked marriages in the body of Christ. First of all, let me say this. Marriage is for Christians. Marriage is a covenant agreement. It's holy. It's called holy matrimony. It's when you enter into a covenant agreement with God. And you say, you know, I'm not even marrying my wife because I love her. I'm marrying my wife because I love God. And so I take one believer connect with another believer of the opposite sex. We connect with the same heart. We become one flesh, which is putting God first. Come on, somebody. And then I don't cheat on my wife because I honor God. Come on now. I don't beat my wife because I honor God. I don't talk bad to my wife. See what I'm saying? It's a holy covenant, but I'm doing it as unto God. Now, you ready for this? It's going to be a little harsh. Marriage is not for dope boys. Marriage is not for the pimps. It ain't for the players. It ain't for the marriage is when marriage is for Christians. When you want to do right, when you live your life according to the word, that's when you get married. I don't I don't get married because I made a mistake and got someone pregnant. I don't get married because my bank account is on swole. Come on, somebody. I don't get married because she got hips, thighs, and a big good prize. Come on, somebody. No. As I receive salvation, as I get closer to God, He connects me with a divine mate. Uh, some call him a soul mate. And we connect more with God. And it's all about God. Now, I didn't say that just because we're married, we're going to be all uptight and stiff. That's why we in Destiny, Florida, because we're not uptight and stiff. We don't uh, get discombobulated because so we around somebody and they start cussing. Come on, somebody. What am I saying? I'm saying, look, get your perspective and your priorities right concerning God. Right now, we're going to pray. We're going to bind the enemy out of marriage. There's an adulterous spirit. There's a spirit of lust, homosexuality, lesbianism. Rejection. We're going to pray right now. Father God, in the matchless mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we love you. We thank you. And we praise you. Lord, I don't know who's on the other side of this camera. But I believe in faith that they're watching it. And it's not by happenstance because we know that you don't make no mistakes. I pray for their marriage right now. I pray for the Johnson family. These are just specific names. I pray for the Johnson family. I pray for Rachel and Bill. I pray for Lisa and Norman. Mm. I pray for Reginald Woods. The Woods family. I pray for the Tate family. I pray for the Skoleski family. I pray for the Austins. Father God, we just bind every assignment of the enemy right now. We bind division, we bind schism, we bind that angry spirit right now. I command you, spirit of anger, I command you to come out now. In the mighty master's name of Jesus Christ. I bind lust, I bind adulteries, I bind condemnation even yet listening to this prayer. And I just loose the conviction of the Holy Ghost. I loose the peace of God, the restoration of God, the strength of God. Lord, I bind rejection right now at the root. I bind abortion. I bind abandonment right now at the root. And I bind discord right now. I loose the oneness of God, the peace of God, the strength of God. Right into your marriage. Your marriage shall live and not die. I come against debt. I lose supernatural debt cancellation manifestation. You will not be a slave to debt. Your money situation is turning around. Doors are opening up that no man can shut. I even pray for your kids and the stepkids. That all in your house would be one. One accord. One mind. One love. One faith. One baptism. One focus. That's Jesus Christ. God bless you. We love you. Give God all the praise for you. Be encouraged. Man of God. Love on your wife. 
Woman of God, love the hell out of your husband. See, the Bible says love never faileth. It also says that love covers a multitude of sins. Love is the answer. You know, want to know what the answer is? Yeah, he might have came in late last night, but love is the answer. Speak life. That's the answer. Two wrongs don't make a right. Somebody got to speak life. Come on now. Be encouraged. We love you. We thank God for you. Peace out. We're headed back to me.